This time what I'd like to do is talk a little bit about something that's called all on four or all on four dental implants. When restoring missing teeth, we have the option to place an implant for the single missing tooth or a couple implants to support a bridge to replace two or three missing teeth or several implants to support several teeth or a bridge that is, covers the entire arch of teeth, the entire upper teeth or entire lower teeth. And the, it stands to reason that the more implants that you place, the more stable the restoration will be. Uh, 10 implants, 8 to 10 implants is a general rule on the upper teeth. 6 to 8 implants is a general rule on the lower teeth. And ideally, we only have, we have an implant placed for every other tooth that's missing in an arch. We never really want to have, as a general rule, uh, a bridge that spans more than one, maybe two missing teeth. And so if you count up 14 teeth per arch, you know, that's going to be several implants. However, many times we don't have adequate bone, either thickness or width or height, to place implants where we want them to be. The teeth have been missing long enough or there's been traumatic injury or for whatever reason, we don't quite have bone where we would like it. And so we would have to do something that's called a bone graft. It's not that big of a deal. It might sound horrible. And some of the old-fashioned ways to doing it, I think we're kind of on the terrible side. What I mean by that is sometimes we had to take bone from a different part of the body and relocate it to the jaw and wait for the body to heal and then place implants. So that surgery alone is traumatic. So we've come up with different ways to avoid having to do that. However, it's not always within a budget or time frame or for whatever reason, grafts just aren't going to be done. So all on four is a graftless approach, meaning in the upper arch, one of the big challenges is the location of our sinuses. And if the sinuses are really, really large, we might not be able to put implants as far back as we want them to go. Sometimes there's still some bone above the sinus, and if we angle an implant to just run alongside of where the sinus is, we don't have to do anything to the sinuses, yet we still can have an implant far enough back to distribute the, the load forces. On the lower arch, the big issue is the lower nerve that goes in the jaw on each side. And the nerve exits the bone kind of midway through the jaw towards the front, and we can place many implants safely in between the nerve endings on e from each side, pretty much from canine to canine, or, or lower eye tooth to lower eye tooth. Somewhere between there is kind of the safe zone. But we can, sometimes there's bone above that nerve, so if we start the implant at an angle, we can uh, angle it in such a way to avoid that nerve, yet still have four implants there. Now, it's not without risk. You'll hear things like all on four, none on three. So there is a slight risk. If an implant fails, then the entire process is, is for naught. So, you know, there are, not every case is ideal for an all on four type of uh, uh, restoration. Now, the all on four traditionally is something that is screwed in, meaning the arch that is restored is screwed into the implants and they never come out. What it also means is at, at frequent intervals or frequency is, is kind of uh, up to uh, discussion, but on in certain intervals, we want to unscrew that restoration and clean everything around it and underneath it because the, you, the patient, can't take it out at home and clean. So that hygiene becomes an issue. Being screwed in place is, uh, is, is a bit of a challenge. It's not something that we would unscrew every six months. Come to get your teeth cleaned every six months and unscrew the implant. The screws that attach the arch to the implants are going to go through what's called metal fatigue, meaning if you keep twisting, it's kind of like a paper clip. If you've ever twisted a paper clip a few times, eventually it doesn't bend anymore. It just breaks. So if you keep doing that to the screws that hold the arch to the implants, they're just going to break. So to be safe, every time you unscrew those screws, you should throw those away and, and use brand new screws. Well, that can be very expensive. They can be upwards about $100 per screw. So if you've got four implants, that means that's $400 just in, implant, in screws to re re replace every time. So you probably aren't going to spend that twice a year, upwards of $1,000 every time you do it. So do that twice a year, that's a couple thousand dollars per year just in cleanings. So we don't quite do it that frequently. Most of the time, we're going to be every few years, we're going to unscrew everything. But in the meantime, we recommend you coming back, letting us clean around all of that. So maintenance can be a little bit of an issue. So 
sometimes we do upgrade the all on four restorations to a removable uh, option in a previous episode talked about the Deutsch removable bridge so there are uh, other options that can be done with those same four implants but uh, traditionally it, we are talking about a screwed in restoration that doesn't come out at all so what is the all on four procedure it is a graftless approach to placing implants to restore an entire arch of, of teeth Dr. Timmerman is known internationally with licenses in multiple states in the United States plus Belgium and Dubai for cosmetic, implant, and sleep dentistry with fellowships in the International Congress for Oral Implantology and the Academy of General Dentistry and a diplomate in the American Board of Dental Sleep Medicine. If you would like to become a patient of Dr. Timmerman or simply have questions, please go to our website, www.drtimmerman.com. That is www.drtimmerman.com. Or call us at 206-241-5533. Or you could email questions for an episode of a future podcast at thewholetoothpodcast at gmail.com.